When Texas won their first four games, the proclamation was that Texas was back after losses to a then hot West Virginia team and then the humiliating loss in the Red River rivalry, it was not so fast. Then the Longhorns reeled off four wins in a row and hope was alive again. But with the possibility for a Big 12 title still alive Thanksgiving night, the Horns were stuffed by TCU. I don't think in college football you're ever past anything. I mean, you gotta coach yourself to death every weekend. You go out there and coach whatever shows up. And Hope that both sides play great. When they don't, you got to adjust to it. And that's what we try to do tonight. We let you know opportunities slip away from us this year. And that's tough. I think one of the most disappointing things for me is to know that we didn't send the seniors out of here on the on the right note. Um, but that's uh, that's football, and we'll uh, rally again in Manhattan. That's a disappointment. Um, you know, the senior night couldn't get the win. Um, you know, I'm part of that young group that has to get the older guys um, a win, and I couldn't do it tonight, so you know, I'm taking part in that and uh, getting better for next week, get ready for K-State. Throughout the season, sophomore David Ash has been the model of consistency, throwing 17 touchdowns against five interceptions. But in the first half, Ash took a step back, two red zone interceptions, and then a costly fumble in his own end. Uh, way too much credit and way too much blame at the quarterback position, and that's what comes with it. And so just understanding that all you just regroup, do your job, um, get the guys around you. And, and I think that's a big part, the guys surrounding him, the other 10 guys, all right, help the quarterback out, do their job and, and get back into a rhythm. David's a level-headed guy, so we'll look forward to him coming back next week. Yeah, you know, around here, if somebody has a bad week, we're not giving up on anybody. I can keep competing and keep going after it. Everybody's got hard on this team, so we'll just ride the course. A backbreaker all season has been the Horns' rush defense, and against TCU, the 98th ranked rush D reared its ugly head, allowing 217 yards on the ground to the Horn Frogs. Yeah, we didn't play the run very well, especially in the first half. They had about 200 um, when it was all said and done, which allowed them to control the clock, which allowed them to protect their quarterback. Um, I thought the quarterback's running was the difference in the game. So is Texas back? Well, if you're talking Big 12 titles, at least for this year, the answer is no. But one thing the Longhorns have done well this season is bounce back. And they're going to have to do that against another good running team, Kansas State. They've got a lot of pride. They, they know there's still some stuff out there to play for, so they'll, they'll play hard at Kansas State. We have to do all the things we've done all, all season long, and it's a really long season. We're here at the end of it now. And uh, we've just got to stay the course. That's really all you have to do. We're doing the right things. We just have to show up and play on game day. So can the Longhorns get back on track with an upset in Manhattan and with a potential Cotton Bowl win, perhaps against their former Thanksgiving opponent, Texas A&M? Well, time will tell, but right now, Texas is certainly not back to where they want to be. In Austin, Paul Boron for CST Tonight.